Good afternoon everyone, Jason Warren for DT Met with an update on the winter storm that's impacting portions of the Great Lakes up into the northeast and also producing severe weather in the southeast. We currently have an area of heavy snow extending from portions of the eastern Great Lakes back into the southern Great Lakes and upper Ohio Valley and some of this uh, snow is coming down at the rate of one to two inches per hour. You can see that in some of these banding features that we're seeing on the radar spreading across portions of northern Indiana, far northwestern Ohio, and up into southern Michigan. That then spreads across uh, Lake Erie and southern Ontario into portions of western New York. Further to the south, enough warm air has moved up now to change the precipitation over to light rain and showers across much of uh, central and eastern Ohio into western Pennsylvania. Further east where the dry air is beginning to uh, move into the region in the Appalachians, uh, the precipitation is beginning to shut off, but there have been some four to six inch snowfall reports uh, in portions of the uh, central Appalachians down into the mid-Atlantic region, uh, mainly over the higher terrain. Closer to the I-95 corridor, this has been primarily a rain event with some areas starting as a brief mix or a brief period of snow. The heavier snow that's over the southern and eastern Great Lakes right now will translate east-northeastward into portions of interior New England later today and into tonight. Uh, and this is when we'll see the heaviest snowfall amounts with this particular system. Some areas of northern New England, especially from central and northern Maine, across the higher terrain of uh, the White Mountains and the Green Mountains and over into the Adirondacks, could see 6 to 12 inches of snow with isolated higher amounts, especially in northern and western Maine. On the warm side of the system, the severe weather threat has temporarily diminished uh, with no severe thunderstorm or tornado watches currently in effect, and in fact not even seeing any warnings at this time. Uh, but we do have a band of heavy rain extending from the Carolinas down into portions of Georgia and no northern Florida, and we also have a band of uh, fairly uh, robust thunderstorms uh, from southeastern Georgia down into north central Florida. The SPC has maintained a slight risk for severe thunderstorms across portions of the eastern Carolinas down into eastern Georgia and north central Florida for the rest of today and into this evening. This is primarily for damaging wind gusts, but an isolated tornado or two cannot be ruled out. This system is forecast to exit off to the northeast uh, tonight and tomorrow and should be out of the picture by tomorrow afternoon with just some lingering lake effect snows in its wake and there will be a weak clipper that comes down through the uh, central and western Great Lakes and through the Ohio Valley tomorrow as well which could produce some snow showers and flurries across the region. Some additional light accumulations will be possible.